Hey everyone, it's Miss Brown here. I hope you're doing well, staying safe inside. Today we are going to read a fun story. You think it's easy being the tooth fairy. So first grade is a really exciting time where many of us are losing our teeth and we get money under our pillow, but we never actually see the tooth fairy or all the hard work she does. So we are gonna read this fun story. It was written by Sherry Bell Rechwold and illustrated by David Sloanen. Now who remembers what the author does? Writes the words and who remembers the illustrator? Yes, they draw the pictures and the publisher, do you remember? They publish the story and bring it to our hands. So we are gonna get started. You think it's easy being the tooth fairy. You think it's easy being the tooth fairy? Well, it's not. It takes skill. It takes daring. Thank goodness I am here to do the job. Look how tiny she is. Let's get one thing straight, okay? I never wear pink flouncing skirts or twinkling glass slippers. That's Cinderella. She does a lot of sitting around in the castle looking pretty. Boring. Me, I'm an action kind of gal. I live for dancing, for suspense. Let's get on another thing, shall we? I don't rely on elves to help me out or flying reindeer to get me around. That's Santa. You know, the big ho ho in red. Don't get me wrong, he's a great guy, but all that help has made him, well, a little soft. I'm tough. Check out my muscles. I got these lugging thousands of quarters around every night. And I'm smart too. Take my amazing tooth of binder, for example. Ting, ting, ting. I bet you didn't know that baby teeth come out with a built-in honing beacons, did you? With my trusty tooth of finder, I can easily locate a tooth's ting, ting, ting whenever it's ready to come out. After I lock onto your tooth signal, I use my spy -o binoculars, patent pending, to scope out your house and plan my secret entry. I think she's pretty cool. Look at that technology. Good thing I'm athletic. Graceful poetry in motion. I bob, I duck, I roll with the punches. Believe me, every tooth mission brings danger, usually on four legs. Dogs want to chase me. Gerbils want to flatten me, cats want to swat me, squash me, squeeze me, and even eat me. There's the gerbil, and there's all those kitty cats. Pets really cut into my work schedule, you know, but so do you. Sorry kiddos, but I've got too many teeth on my schedule to play games with you. So I really need you to follow these rules. Placement of teeth. Do not clutch tooth in sweaty palm. Hide tooth in your pajama pocket. Wrap tooth in snotty tissues or smelly socks. Here are some of the things you can do. Clean all blood and spit off of the tooth. Place your tooth carefully beneath the lower right hand corner of the pillow. Sleep soundly and lie still. Make like a toothbrush. Wonderful! This tooth was right where it should have been. And look how clean it is. Emily gets an A plus and I get another great photo for my scrapbook. Ting, ting, ting. Eureka, my tooth of finder is going crazy. Seven-year-old boy in Honolulu, Hawaii. Seven-year-old quintuplets in San Antonio, Texas. 
six-year-old girl in Juania, Alaska. Wow, this is going to be a long night. Boy, she sounds very busy. Almost more work than our teaching. Phew, all done for tonight. Time for some shut-eye. But never fear, my dears. I'll be ready to fly the second tooth. My tooth of finder starts ting ting tinging. I've got my ears peeled on your pearly whites. These are some students she's watching waiting for their teeth to come out. So, after reading that, do you think it's easy being the Tooth Fairy? Hmm, do you remember some of the do's and don'ts this Tooth Fairy wanted to remind you of? What are some things you can do to help the Tooth Fairy? And what are some things you can't do to help the Tooth Fairy? Try to remember these. Let's look back in the story to help us. We always look for text details by going back into the story and finding facts or words that tell us what's gonna help us answer our questions. So the first one was what are the do's and what are the don'ts? Well, if we go back, the do's are clean your teeth, make sure it's beneath the lower right hand corner of your pillow, and make sure you sleep soundly, very still, and to add an extra detail, lay as still as a toothbrush. Some of the don'ts were, don't clutch your tooth in your sweaty palm and don't hide it in your pocket. And you also cannot wrap your tooth in a snotty tissue or a smelly sock. Otherwise, she is not coming. So don't forget to look back in the story for your details. Thanks for reading with me today. I hope to see you soon.